Today I'm going to show you how GMP uh, Pro's breakout rooms uh, works. Okay, so uh, if you have GMP Pro license, you should be able to access the breakout room from this icon, a button. Uh, click on this icon, uh, you have a GMP Pro's uh, breakout rooms panel uh, opened and uh, you can see all these buttons are enabled if you have a GMP Pro license. Uh, just before I start, I would like to emphasize that uh, this specific feature uh, requires all the participants in the meeting to have GMP extension installed so that you can manipulate the room, assign them to the rooms, and also uh, also do, doing a lot of things, sending the message to them and uh, bring them back to the room. All these features or functionalities relying on people or users have GMP extension installed. If you open up this panel and you don't see the user showing up here, that means uh, other users don't have GMP extension installed. In this case, you won't be able to assign them to the rooms and uh, send them over to the room automatically and bring them back. Uh, those, those features will not work, okay? So make sure that everyone in the meeting have uh, GMP extension installed. Uh, we know that if you're using GMP, uh, sorry, Google Suite, uh, G Suite, and uh, uh, from admin G Suite admin console, you can just uh, click a button and push GMP extension to everyone in your organization. Okay, uh, if you you don't have uh, that access, you can ask your uh, admin or just send the link, uh, GMP extension link to, to, to other participants in the meeting, have them quickly install that. It would just take about less than 30 seconds to have GMP installed, okay? And it's free. Uh, they, they don't, all these people, all these uh, users, they don't need to have GMP Pro license to be, um, to, 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 be to be in this breakout rooms, okay? It's only uh, the host, uh, uh, needs the GMP Pro license in order for this to work, okay? Let's start with the tabs. Uh, there are three tabs, configuration, history, and instructions. Uh, uh, configuration, uh, this, it's, it's a where, this is a where you configure the rooms. Uh, in history, it's where we capture, the GMP captures history, and the configuration you saved the last time, and they can be imported later on. We'll come back to this. Instructions uh, it gives you uh, the, the detail, uh, the feature description of uh, each button. Uh, you can use this as a reference. Uh, if you don't know how all these buttons uh, work, uh, you can come to here and read about it, okay? So uh, coming back to the configuration, this is a place where you create the rooms and config the rooms. Uh, on the first row here, you can select how many rooms do you want to create. For example, I select three and the create breakout rooms. Uh, instant, instantly, you can see three rooms created and uh, you can remove the rooms by clicking remove button. Okay, so if you want to say, okay, I want just one room, I want to add one more, you can you add one room button here, okay? And the difference between the create breakout room button and the add one room button uh, is that the add one room button does not wipe out existing rooms. It just add one more room at appending the, the new room to the existing list. However, uh, create breakout rooms uh, actually refresh all these rooms uh, creating a brand new set of rooms. Once rooms have been created, now you can assign the users to these rooms. Uh, there are two ways to assign the user to these rooms. Uh, you can drag them. All these users in green icon, they can be dragged uh, anywhere you want uh, to different rooms and they can drag back to the user list. Or if you just don't, you want to 
uh, GMP to assign the user randomly to this rooms. You can just click a assign user randomly button. Uh, once that's that this button is clicked, you can see and uh, the, these users will be moved to these rooms randomly e evenly. So uh, if you have a large group of people, uh, this is a very friendly uh, feature. Uh, by clicking this automatically all this user will be signed. Of course, after they're assigned, you can do micro adjustment. Uh, you want to um, adjust the who is in the group, who's not uh, moving people around. And uh, of course, you can drag them around. Let's go through the options for configuring the breakout rooms. Uh, first, the room name. Room name can be changed by just the changing the text in this text box. Uh, for example, I make it a text room one. Uh, once this, uh, this is set, uh, any if you open this room, you join this room, the tab will show test room one. Let's try that. Coming back to the new room, and you will see that the tab of that room is been, has been changed to tab room, test room one, reflecting what, ha what you have edited here. When you send these users to their rooms, uh, they will also see uh, the title of the tabs reflecting these names. Let's go through the second set of options. Uh, from this drop down, you have three options. Keep them here, allow returning, open for joining. Uh, the first, keep them here. Once you check this option, uh, GMP keeps the user in the current meeting, which current meeting is treated as a main room. So they are, uh, they, they will be kept in this room while uh, opening another tab for them to join the, the breakout room uh, you want them to be in. And of course, you unchecking this, uh, you, they, they will, the, when you send them over, uh, actually they will be disconnecting the from the main room and uh, joining the breakout room in the same window. Uh, also, you might have noticed uh, by checking keep them here, uh, GMP removes bring back button. Uh, that's because uh, it doesn't make sense to bring them back if they are already in this meeting. Uh, if you uncheck this, you will see bring back button uh, appears again. And uh, so you have to know the how to operate between these options. Uh, if you want to keep some time, you want to keep the user in the main room so you can talk to them anytime you want and uh, communicate with them, uh, or you just want them to leave the current meeting and join the, the, the new rooms. Okay, so this is a, this is a, your decision and to see how you how it works best for you. The second option here, allow returning. Uh, by default, uh, it's unchecked. Uh, that means uh, when user sent to the, the breakout room, they don't have way to come back. If you have this checked, uh, GMP will provide a button for the users in the breakout room to come back. Uh, they have a button on the side called the main, uh, return to main room button. Uh, that button will appear if you have this checked. The third option, open for joining, uh, this option once checked, it makes the room uh, to be joined freely. Everyone in the meeting, if I switch to another tab, you can see everyone in the meeting, uh, they, will see, they will see this room be, uh, be visible and uh, available for join. So anybody can join freely. So this is where you just want to create a set of room asking participant to join a will. So they can join which, whichever room they wanted. Uh, you can highlight, you can use the, the name, room name uh, to, to, to highlight the purpose of that room so they can join freely. And of course, also you can use it 
uh, after you send the first batch of user to the breakout rooms and uh, now there are people coming late you can open the room for joining so when they join the meeting they will see uh, these rooms are in session and that they can join uh, any room they want also you can make multiple rooms available for join for example uh, you have a, you we have made uh, the test room one available now I want to make room two available as you can see uh, the room list is showing up here and uh, anybody can join by clicking join button here Next is a timer option. Uh, it gives you a list of a possible period you want a breakout room, this specific breakout room to, uh, to last. For example, if I set as a 20 minutes, uh, what does that mean? Uh, if I set a 20 minutes, I send a group of users uh, over to the breakout rooms. After 20 minutes, they will be brought back to this main room automatically, meaning their their breakout session will end in 20 minutes, uh, and automatically they will be brought back to the main room, so uh, that you don't need to uh, keep watching the time and manually bring them back. Uh, the, the GMP will do that automatically for you. The send button uh, sends users in this specific room to the config breakout room and of course you have send all button here uh, so in, instead of send the group one by one you can click send all button so all these users in different rooms will be sent over to their new rooms based on the configuration you have set here uh, bring back the same thing so it just uh, you can click this button all the users in the breakout rooms will be brought back to this room and the they, they, the GMP would do that for you and uh, you also can bring back everybody by clicking break uh, bring back all button here the join button is for you as uh, as a host whenever you want to join that a specific session or breakout room this is where you click you want, if you want, you want to join uh, test room one you just click a join button here you would join automatically you will see uh, that a new tab opened and you will be joining that room uh, uh, also you can you can choose to join all of them uh, if now you have uh, two rooms uh, this will open two tasks new two new tasks tabs for you and to join this two room at the same time if I click this you can see two new tabs opened and uh, you'll be joining all these meetings at once uh, however however if you have, you have if you have many rooms you will open many tabs uh, uh, you have to consider if your computer is powerful enough to handle so many concurrent sessions or not uh, Okay, so uh, sometimes the user in the in the breakout room can request you join their rooms and for specific reason. So you can just simply click the join button uh, to join the room. The focus button uh, quickly switch your focus, the tab focus to the sp a specific breakout room. For example, if I click focus here. You see, my tab switched to the test room one. So this is where you can you can focus individual uh, breakout room. It gives you a way quickly switch to a specific room as you wish. Uh, message button. Uh, once you click this, you will see a pop up here. Uh, for example, you want to send a message to a specific room. Uh, you can click on this button or you can click on the message all button which you're broadcasting a message to all existing breakout rooms for example if I type in something test message this, this will broadcast to all the existing mess uh, breakout room if I switch 
to test room, you can see the message received uh, by from the main room. Who sent it? And you can see the name of the sender as well. And the peak, uh, the peak button actually give it gives you ability to 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 see who is actually in the meeting. Uh, as you can see, uh, one person is in that meeting. So uh, who's in this meeting? And there's no user in this meeting. Uh, this is just a quick way to take a look who is active in that meeting. Also. Uh, from this window, you are able to copy the URL of that meeting. So uh, there was a user asking where is the URL of the meeting. So this is where you can have that information. If you want, you want to have this information copied, this is where you copy from. The last button is a remove button. Uh, you can remove the room anytime you want. Uh, once the remove once you click on the remove button, the user uh, in the in in that specific room uh, will be sent back to put back to the user list, so you can reassign them uh, to another room. Let's go through this set of buttons. Uh, we have gone through send all, bring back all, and join all, message all, uh, mute all. This is where you joined uh, these breakout rooms. And uh, you can imagine the noise coming from all these rooms at the same time. This is where it's very useful uh, to just hit this button and uh, you can see, let's switch the tab. See, this speaker of for this specific room is muted. Oh. So if you have your joint, you joined five rooms, uh, cl by clicking this button, you will mute all the audio uh, coming from this room. Copy rooms assignment button. Uh, this button provides you ability to copy the setup of your breakout rooms. Uh, Sometimes you want to copy it and send to someone else. This is clicking this button. Uh, the information will be in your clipboard. You paste. You can paste it in the document or send over to someone. Someone else. In uh, what's included in this uh, in in this information are links and the, the, the members, meaning who are assigned to each rooms, and that you can save it or you can send it to someone else. Same rooms configuration button. This button provides you ability to save uh, config, your configuration of these rooms. For example, now I click the button, you will see a pop-up. Uh, this is where you enter a name for this specific configuration so that you can import it back later on. Uh, in this case, I would just call the demo, save. Uh, right away, you can see the confirmation uh, of the, the confirmation uh, showing that this configuration has been saved successfully and uh, it's under the history tab. Now we head over to the history tab. As you can see here, you have a demo and there was a date appended to it. Uh, now, anytime you want the next day or any time, you can just uh, click this button to import the configuration. Uh, for example, I come back to the configuration tab. Uh, I, I remove all these rooms. So now there's no room, no configuration. Now I go to history tab. I click on this button, see? Uh, now automatically switch you back to the configuration tab. Also, it regenerated two rooms based on the configuration you had before with the room names and assignment as well. Who assigned to which room and the configuration you had. For example, 20 minutes for this room, all that, all the configuration were remembered. Let's try out all these buttons again. So first I create rooms, three rooms. I add one more room to the end of the list. I can remove the rooms and I have just leaving one room uh, still in the list. I drag this user to the room and I also change the room name to room uh, test. And also I can have options selected, uh, keep them here allow returning so allow them to return uh, for now I don't select the open for joining 
and the, for the timer option I'm not going to select it because this would take 10 at least 10 minutes uh, to 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 bring them back so I would just manually bring them back uh, in this case if I want to bring them back I cannot select keep them here so I uncheck this so now you can see uh, this, there's one user in under this room uh, I can send I'm gonna to send this user to this specific breakout room and bring him back okay so let's see ascent what happened uh, this this user is actually on the second tab here as you can see that user left this main room and the joint uh, the room test and uh, what you see here the gray button here or icon here is we call a ghost icon it shows you uh, who actually was sent from uh, sent to this room uh, th this this icon just indicating who was here and who was already in that room so now you can see my another tab which is another user has been sent over to room test uh, now you can see I'm, I'm on this is a tab for the user uh, which is uh, sent to this uh, breakout room. This is a breakout room, room test. And you can see on the side, there are two buttons here. Uh, since uh, allowed, I, uh, going back to the main room, I select allow returning. Uh, this button allows the, this specific user to return uh, to the main room. Once, if this user clicks on this button, uh, this this tab will be redirected back to the main room and this user will join the main room this is a button when you require if you're in the breakout room you want help from the host or you want a host to come join your meeting uh, for some reason you click on this button uh, this is requesting but now I'm back into the I'm back to this main room as you can see uh, received uh, as a host I received the request uh, some who request they give you the name the person requests you to join the breakout room you can click the this link to join or simply you can click this join button uh, to join okay you can join join that room by clicking that button uh, automatically you would take you would open up another tab and then join that join that meeting now you're in that meeting now uh, also you can sense the two we have a two uh, user in that meeting we can pick uh, as you can see now the two users are in the meeting so uh, you can take a look who's in the meeting anytime you want also you can focus a meeting right away you can see instantaneously uh, the tab switch the focus to that specific meeting and I'll do it again you will see it switch the focus uh, okay so uh, of course uh, now it's a time you think you can uh, you you want to end the meeting and you want to bring the user back. So this is this is where you're gonna to click the bring back button. Okay, so for example, now I click bring back. You can see the second tab, which is a user in the breakout room, now rejoined this main room again. We brought this user back. Of course, uh, it, it could be a group of users. Uh, they will be brought back automatically without you uh, going to each room telling them it's time coming back. This this uh, this the GMP would do would do the 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 the, the, the rejoin for for them, and uh, of course you can you can save all these configuration and uh, if you want to you if you want to also open the room for example you want to, this is time uh, you want to open the room for joining. You can click this button. As you can see, uh, this this room becomes available for joining in all for every user in the room. So uh, even somebody, if I refresh this page, uh, I, I disconnect myself from this meeting. I rejoin this meeting. I still see this specific room opening open for joining. Okay, so I can click now. I'm a, I'm a user. I joined just joined this meeting. Uh, the host has made the specific room uh, free to join. I can click this join button. It will take me to that specific room, and uh, I can join that room. So this is where 
it's a it's a, a good practice that you name a uh, room uh, very specifically so the other people in the meeting would know the purpose of that specific breakout room so they can join uh, these rooms accordingly if you make the if you make these rooms available for uh, uh, join anytime if you don't want the room to be visible for joining you can simply come into this menu on the uncheck open for joining as you can see that room uh, was uh, removed from the side panel you can send message to a specific room as I mentioned before or you can send to all rooms uh, now we have this user uh, in the room test uh, let me send a message this message will be sent over to that room specifically now switching the tab you can see that uh, the message received in that room so uh, and as for this user uh, who's in the breakout room uh, as we mentioned you have two buttons uh, let's test out the return to main room button by clicking this button the user is now able to return to the main room okay so you can see the user returned here of course as mentioned you can uh, disable as a host you can disable such functionality I think I have demoed most of the features of breakout rooms at the end we would like to thank users who contacted us with their ideas and the feedback we really appreciate your ideas and the suggestions uh, that will help us to make this product better thank you